Hi and welcome to another video. This time I would like to have a look into executables in Dart. And executables is a field that we can add to our pubspec file. You can see it here in the documentation of Dart, where they give you a little bit of a description of what it is. So what they say is a package may expose one or more of its script as executables that can be run directly from the command line. And that's exactly what it is for. If you ever used a package like for example a VM or Derry over here, then you know that you can activate this package globally and then you can use it within your command line everywhere in your system. So it's basically added to your path and available anywhere. In order to achieve this, we can write a Dart package that will define these executables. And as they show you over here, we can have more than one executable script inside of a single package. In case of Derry itself, you can see it defined over here. You can see we have executables and Derry. And here we, have, we can specify a value, so this is a key value field like any other field, like SDK or dependencies. However, if the value is not specified, like here in the documentation for FVM, it will be inferred from the key. So Dart will look into the bin directory of your Dart package and will look in this case for FVM.Dart. But if you specify, for example, mine for Slidey over here, then instead Dart will look into the bin directory and look for mine.dart. Notice that you don't have to add .dart, or actually you should not add .dart over here. So this will be something that Dart will already try to find for itself. So let's go into command line and let's try to implement some package that will expose this kind of a script that will be accessible from anywhere in my command line tool. Therefore, first let's create a new Dart package. Let's call it executables test. There we go. Let's go to this new package. And here is our new package with all its contents. You can see the very basic structure that was generated for a package. So we have pubspec, we have analysis options, and we have tests, lib, and bin directories. In the lib directory, you have the xtest.dart, which has this calculate function. Then in bin, we have also xtest right now, which has some mine function, and this mine function is just printing a calculation over here. But also let's try to do two different scripts so we can see that multi-scripting also will work with two different commands defined. So first of all, let's add a new file over here, xtest2.dart. I just copy the contents of it because I'm lazy. Paste it over here, let's save and let's say hello world2. In the next step, let's go to pubspec yaml here and let's add our executables. So our first executable is xtest. And here we can specify it to use the xtest file. And next let's specify xtest2. And let's see if it will work if we will not define what file to use. So here in my command line, let's now try to activate this package. And for that we can use the command dart, pub, global, activate, and then source, path, and dot. So dot is pointing to the current package. We could also give it a package name. And now you can see what happened. So first of all, dependencies were resolved. Then it got the dependencies. After that, executables were installed. So we have xtest and xtest2 installed and activated as xtest, which is the package 100, because that's the current version. And you also can see where the path currently is on my system. Now let's try to use the new two scripts that we have available everywhere. So let's write xtest. There we go. First it built the package, and after that we had this hello world printed. Now let's try the second test, xtest2. There we go, and the output is hello world2.42. So just this two I've added over here, so we can see the difference between the two. Okay, but how about we go somewhere else in the system right now? Let's say to C. So on my C directory I can again call xtest. There we go. Notice that it's not built anymore because the executables were already built once. So now it's sitting somewhere in the cache. And here as well we can test now our, our second test which is xtest2. There we go. Hello world 242 printed. And that's it. That's what the executables property is for in the pubspec file. It enables us to run our Dart scripts anywhere on the system. I hope this video helped you understand this feature or maybe just learn about something new that you didn't know that exists and is possible in Dart and Flutter. If so, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and I see you in the next time. 
But until then, I coach you to death and bye-bye.